hello student in this topic we want to study the half life of a zero order reaction uh, what is mean by half life in the last 11 class we have been already study about the half life period in a chapter nuclear chemistry of uh, radioactivity in radioactivity what is mean by half life period that is time required to disintegrate time required to reduce the 50 percent of the initial amount that is called a half life we so say similarly yahan par half life of a reaction means half life of a reaction means that is the time required to decrease half of the initial amount that is called a half life of a reaction now let us study the half life or the zero order reaction expression so first you have to write the integrated rate law the integrated rate law for the simple hypothetical reaction like A gives product that is so last period we have already studied here last lecture we have already studied here so what is the integrated rate law K equal to A0 minus AT divided by T so K is called rate constant, A0 means initial amount when time T equal to 0 or AT equal the amount left, concentration left after time T or T is the time required. But when T equal to, when T equal to T half, then what will be the amount left, AT kitna bachega, A0 by 2 aada bachega. So putting the value equal to here K equal to, a0 minus A0 divided by 2 upon T के बजा आ जाएगा यहां पर T आप solving this तो क्या आ जाएगा K is K equal to A0 divided by 2 into T half that is we can write here T half equal to A0 divided by twice K या फिर finally we can say T half is directly proportional to the A0. This is the relation between the half life for the zero order reaction and initial concentration. From this equation, you can say that is the half life for a zero order reaction is directly proportional to the initial amount. Jitna initial amount jada lenge, utna time jada lagega in order to get the so you have a half life for the zero order reaction. Now this graphical representation we have study karenge. Graphical representation when a graph is plotted, when a graph is plotted between the half life and the initial concentration A0, here directly proportional. So here straight line passing through origin is obtained show that the T half is also directly proportional to the initial amount that is called a, the relation between the half life and the initial amount. So, you have about the half life for the zero order reaction. This equation can be used to calculate the half life for the zero order reaction and from this graph you can say this hypothetical reaction is a zero order reaction. Okay.